if there was a scene where it looks like I was like seeing nudity or like a sex scene or whatever, I was really not. Like they would just put a, you know, a piece of tape there or a mark for me to watch and I would pretend. You know, I wouldn't even say that school ever has taken like a back seat or anything because it's always kind of been a, a priority for, to be honest, not even necessarily me as much because I'm more interested in, um, you know, directing in the film industry and acting. And I don't, you know, I, I'm not trying to, uh, I, I don't want to be a mathematician, but yeah. John Wells, our producer on the show, and, and both my parents are, are very adamant about me getting good grades in school and everything. And like John Wells has, always has a meeting with Ethan and I before the season starts. And he's like, you know, if there's ever too many scenes that you guys have, just please tell me and we'll cut back so you can have your schoolwork. And I'm like, no, I'll do, I'll do it all. I promise. I promise. I want to, I want to keep doing the show more. Um, you know, when I was younger, they would block, to be honest, like, I, it kind of all just went over my head when I was young. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of part of the, the storyline, though. My character didn't understand kind of the extent of everything that the characters in the show were doing, and I didn't understand it either. I think that was just kind of right. life imitating art in a way, or maybe it was art imitating life. I, I don't know. Maybe if I was a little bit more street savvy when I was 10 years old, they would the show would have been different. But, um... And Debbie would have been, you know, in that kind of stuff earlier on or just from the very beginning or, or maybe not. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I truly, the, the cast was always, you know, pretty cautious. And so were my parents and so was our crew and everything. Um, you know, we'd have closed sets for inappropriate scenes. And if there was a scene where it looks like I was, like, seeing nudity or, like, a sex scene or whatever, I was really not. Like, they would just put, a, you know, a piece of tape there or a mark for me to watch and I would pretend. I don't know, I'm like just like a weird, like I'm really into like crystals, I'm like holding this one right now, rose quartz. I did wonder what that like, was about. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of weird. I just have like an entire setup of crystals right here, look at this. I love They're such it. a mess right now, but I have so many, just like random makeup and stuff, but, um, <laughs> but, um, I'm really into like crystals and like, I don't eat meat, like I'm super passionate about, um, animal rights and animal activism and okay. kind of that stuff and I'm I don't know I'm just like a I'm like a film buff like I'm just like into like weird movies and stuff and um music I'm not I don't take it too seriously like I'm not gonna be having a you know deep conversation about math or even politics to be honest totally I'm super interested you know as I just said in animal activism and I really want to get involved with PETA and um other kind of charities and promote animal rights and you know I, I don't I don't wear I, don't, I, I eat fish because I'm super anemic but I don't eat any other animal products and I don't eat meat and um, you know that kind of stuff. I'm like super passionate about it. I don't wear real leather and stuff I don't know but um, I want to get involved with that I want to kind of help preserve the rainforest you know I want to use kind of whatever success that I have in a beneficial way and not just blow it all on money. I blow it all on, you know, Chanel or just something dumb. Yeah. Like I, I want to, yeah, like I want to make a difference and stuff in the world and something that's going to be substantial and not superficial. Mm -hmm. And I also am interested in directing. I don't know. There's so much that I want to do. I found out about it like way early than even the episode. Um, I don't, I think John Wells told me I don't, like about six months or so before when I saw him at like a press conference thing. And um, I was like, damn, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, I, I could have seen it going that direction, but I didn't really expect it to go that direction. You know, Debbie wants a family. Like, it, yeah. if you think about it, it makes sense that she had a baby. It does make sense, mm -hmm. you know? She wanted an unconditional kind of love and she wanted to, to parent somebody and mother them and, um, you know, be attached to somebody. So it makes sense, and I'm, I'm almost surprised that I didn't see it coming. I don't want people to think that we're making fun of the, those lifestyles, of genuine people who live in the south side of Chicago, and or yeah. even if they don't live in the south side, they have families of, you know, similar to the Gallagher's. A lot of people relate to the show, and I think that's so beautiful. So I, I, I didn't want to make a joke out of it. Like I, I was researching it quite often, and I was, you know, I was looking up videos and stuff online about, you know, women like young girls giving birth and um, mm -hmm. interviews and stuff of teen moms and all that stuff, and I just wanted to. It's just something that you don't act like. You're, it's like a real life thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. For sure. You got to take it seriously and be respectful of people who are going through it and connect to it. Ethan is my best friend, so I'm with Ethan like literally every day, 
And um, I love Shinola. I literally love, Sh to be honest, we have such a great cast, but I, I literally love Shinola. I'm always hanging out with her. I love Ruby and Ruby and Cam are now dating. And um, I actually, they asked me to make them official on Instagram. So wow, I can Amazing. say that now. <laughs> and I, I truly love the entire cast. Jeremy, Emmy, Bill, Steve, like they're all so great. I mean, it's so cliche to say that, but like we've all grown up together in one way or another. And we're on vacation together. You know what I mean? To be honest, it's kind of one of those things where it's like you just need to get your head in the game as like weird as that saying may sound. Like it's truly something that you just need to, I don't know, jump, dive right into the water and just go full for it. You know, like I recommend watching a lot of old classic films and a lot of movies and stuff. Um, writing scripts. I, I truly think that actors who are not just in front of the camera will end up making the best actors behind and in front of the camera because okay. they see both perspectives. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's more than just knowing your aim and looking at like good on camera. Like there's so much more to it than that. That's mm. the most basic superficial level you can think of it on. But like, um, in my opinion, <laughs> do acting classes, make films with your friends. Like I, I've been doing that since I was so young, just making movies with my friends and directing them around my backyard and like doing auditions. I remember <laughs> once when I was little, I was doing like an audition for a movie for my friends that yeah. I was casting in my backyard. And <laughs> my mom comes up and she does an audition. And I was like, John, I was like, you know, I was like, I just can't see you as this role. Well, look, it has been awesome chatting with you here at Amplify. Thanks so much for making the time. Oh my God, of course. Thank you very much for talking to me. Our pleasure.